What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. In the last draft, we won the draft with quite arguably my best ever team that I'd ever drafted and uh, the prizes were pretty garbage. Hopefully today it's a little, little, it's a little, it's a little bit better. And um, before we get into the video today, of course, if you guys want any cheap MSP or PSN codes, G2A link is in the description below. Go ahead and click that, get your cheap codes, maybe ready for this coming team of the week or preparing for team of the year. Team of the year, of course, will be released next Monday. So, um, you know, we're, we're getting close. We're only a week away. Happy days. It's going to be earlier this year because the ceremony is earlier this year. Now, our coin uh, total has been quite stable. I'm going to try the 3 4 2 one. This might be a risk, but this is my go-to formation in foot champs when I'm one or two goals down and I'm playing against someone who's playing super defensive. Um, I quite often go and take this formation because it's so offensive. Now this could backfire and, and hurt me considerably. I could end up losing uh, by a lot of goals because I, I don't really use it from the start. I use it as like a, an intermittent change. But uh, we'll go with this and I think we'll take... See, I don't want to take Pogba because he's got a better version of the card that I'd like to wait for if possible. The same with Sanchez because he's got a striker card and the same with Messi because he's got his 94 card. Although Messi... Uh, I could take Quadrado. Could t I like genuinely could take Otamendi. As a centre-back, he'd be fantastic. Let let's, let's, let's throw caution to the wind and we'll take Otamendi as our first player. Why not? A, a weird captain. Let's see what we get. We get Mkhitaryan there. So we'll take Mkhitaryan as well. Uh, keeping in line with that BPL um, kind of links down the right hand side. We get next Iron Robin's not a bad shout. We get Mares as well. Now it's not the most pace there down that right hand side. Um, but if we get the right chem styles, could be pretty good. It could be pretty good indeed. And as well, the, these nice high rated players are going towards uh, building a nice team. We'll take Laka Sweaty as well. Fantastic car guys. If if you ever have the chance to get his blue card, it is unbelievable. If you can fit into the team, even on 8 chem with, say, like an Anthony Martial or something, it's amazing. We're not getting gifted with great players, um, like the Ronaldos and such, but uh, I think I might take Kingsley Coman here. Give that soft link to uh, Lacazette. Get him on 8 chem. Coman will be on 8 chem as well, no matter what. We get the blue Gunda one there. That's a nice... Po Ooh. Renato Sanchez gives strong link. I'm going to go with what my head's saying. I'm going to go with Gundogan. I've got to take him. Uh, you know, we could get a Pogba here again, get that link in. Come on, give me a Pogba. I'll, I'll take that regular Pogba now as well. We didn't get him. Um, we didn't get BPL. We didn't get Bundesliga. My God. What do we have? German, French. No Germans, no French. We have Brazilian. I'll take uh, Hamschick there. It'll probably go on the bench. In fact, a lot of this team will probably not be the, the starting team. We get Eden Hazard there as well. Oh. What would you do here, guys? Would you take Marco Royce and hope for a centre-back to give him chem? Would you take Douglas Costa and hope for a centre-back or a midfielder to give him chem? Or would you take Hazard because we've got a BPL-themed team going on here? I think I know what the answer is, and I think the answer is taking Eden Hazard. That's my, that's my opinion anyway. Of course, I could be a humongous look at that. I'm taking him. I will fit him into the team. We'll fit him into the team some way, somehow. I don't know how, but we will do it. Koulibaly. Oh, Koulibaly's not a bad chow, actually. Dejan Lovren, I don't really like. Koulibaly's not bad, and then we'll swap those around. We'll get some chem. Now, the chem of this team, guys, is horrendous right now. I understand that. I, uh, I, I take into consideration in terms of um, in terms of the uh, the team and the players available. It's not the the best team. We we'll take Joe Hart. We're up to 75 chemistry, but we're only one or two players away from being like a, a, a you know 99 to 100 chem team. There's that blue Messi I was looking for before. I'm gonna take him. He doesn't he doesn't give us chem just yet. But I'm going to take him. This team is an utter, utter mess. I know it is. You know it is. I've messed up. Right. Two choices here. We could take Catamol, put him in centre midfield. Doesn't really help. It would give Hazard a one soft link. We could take Gast this guy, 
um, put him at centre back doesn't really help because Hamshik needs two links. Could take Ramirez or Yosalu. Let's take this guy because then we could put him and Messi up front. Let's do that. That takes us down to 69. That takes us down to 66. That puts us up to 68 chem. Puts us up to 71 chem. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We've still got loads of spots to go. Loads of spots to go. Come on, EA. Jamie Vardy, nice. Although then Messi, not so nice. But Vardy, we'd have to go Vardy Mkhitaryan. I'd need a BPL left wing. We could go out. Alaba obviously doesn't work. Let's take Vardy. Let's put him in there. Um, no, not there. Let's put him in there. Let's get uh, Mkhitaryan in there. Swap those two around. Swap those two around. Right, that's up up to 73 chemistry. And I think doing that will actually benefit us more. It does. And then doing that will benefit us even more. It does. Right, so we're up to 78 chemistry here. Still an absolute mess of a team. I'm getting there though, guys. I know I know I've drafted some some weird choices here today. Like usually I'm like usually you guys are like, oh my god, he's messed up, he's messed up, he's messed up. And I'm like, wait, what? But on this occasion, I see it. Don't worry, I see it. Um, let's pop him in there. Just because Florenzi's god tier. If we then swap those two around. How do we lose a chem? Oh, because of uh because of Marek. That's uh, that's quite annoying. Look at that, our captain is now on the bench as well. What are we going to do here? Carl Walker's a good ch Oh, Zlatan, Rooney and Neymar. Wayne Rooney helps. We don't need Ibrahimovic because we have Vardy. I know I took Messi, but Messi's going to have to be a super sub because Neymar doesn't fit the bill. It's got to be Walker or Rooney. Now, Walker would be helpful because we've got Joe Hart anyway. But Wayne Rooney going in that centre midfield spot relieves us, relieves us of a lot of chemistry woes. So I'm going to take Wayne Rooney. We're going to throw him in there. I know we lose chemistry straight off the bat. But we can then do that. There we go. That gains us chemistry. We're up to 80 chemistry with that. And now if we put Otamendi back in, we stay on 80 chemistry. But I think we've got a better, um, a much better kind of, Team, I guess, in my opinion, could be wrong. Could be wrong. Let's uh, let's try this as well. We're on 80 chemistry. Let's do that. Note that that puts us down to 76. Messi only gets one link there. It's not enough. Puts him down to six. That's too many. Too many people on six chemistry there. Yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, that that doesn't work. Just does. It just doesn't work. Does not work. What do we have before? I'll leave it like that for now anyway. I still think that's pretty decent. Um, what do we need here? What do we need? I don't even know what we need. We need a BPL goalkeeper would be nice. We're not getting one. I mean, we are getting one, but not one that we're going to want to use. We'll take Aurelio Gomez, though. His team rating is quite high right now, guys. I know this is taking me a while to draft because I'm, uh, I'm not playing. What am I supposed to do with that? Gulan, we could put a left mid. I'm going to take Gulam for a safety. A safety net is Gulam, and I'll, I'll show why if we need to. Gail Clichy is definitely one that I'd be happy to take. Because, again, if we take Clichy, let's put Clichy in for Messi. Swap Clichy and Mares. Let's then swap Clichy and Hazard. And there we go. Yeah, that, that's much better for chemistry. It's then just the defence that's off chem. So we won't need Gulam now, but we have Clichy at left mid. Oh, Morales, that's even better for me. Um, yeah, Morales, Morales, Morales is just the real deal. He puts us up one chemistry, but Gundogan loses chemistry. Interesting. What about if we then put Clichy there? That's a huge chem boost. There we go. Let's swap those two around. Still six there. So our only players off chem now. Hazard on six. And the two... Uh, you know, the fullback off chem and, and Benucci off chem and of course Joe Hart off chem. Um, but it's turned out to be a little bit of a better team than uh, than what we started with. 
Vinaldum, Schweinsteiger. Why can't he be a left forward? Very annoying. We're going to put him into the team. We're at 94 chemistry still. I don't have it. I need a BPL goalkeeper, guys. Oh, no way. I have a BPL goalkeeper. That takes us down to 91. What about if then we put... That's 93. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that. I cannot do that. Right, let's get these last two picks. This draft is taking ages because of uh, how much I'm messing about. Um, Roberto Firmino, he doesn't fit into the team. Dries Mertens does fit into the team. Alright, we've got to take Mertens. Just because of how many Napoli players and how many Belgian players we've got. Right, I'm going to do the chem styles, guys. I'll do the chem styles off camera to save some time here. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've arranged my chem styles uh, in order for myself. We're going to go and get this last pick. It's going to be our silver player, so that's not very helpful at all. Um, we get another Napoli player. We just don't need him. I'm going to take him anyway. I'm going to build the team now and show you what I'm going with. Um, it was a bit different to what I went with, but I think it's going to be the best team. Um, we get Clichy up in here. We get Joe Hart back in goal. I think I ended up, I was playing about with it a little bit. I ended up getting like 96 chemistry. We'll put uh, him there. We'll put Vardy back up front. We put uh, Ottoman, Hazard goes up there for Anthony. Martial and then uh, Otamendi. So there you go, 96 chemistry is where we get with that. Um, it's, it's possible that you, like, I might be able to get a little bit better chemistry, I just couldn't see it. And again, I apologise if like there was, a, there was an obvious chem choice that I just I was unable to see. Um, I had a, a long play around. I think we've got a phenomenal bench and I think this team overall is pretty good. Um, Hazard, Vardy, McTarian, fantastic. Mares, Rooney, Gundogan and Mertens, brilliant. Koulibaly, Otamendi. Clichy is a weak link and Hart on 7 chem is possibly a weak link. I don't think Hazard on 6 chem is a weak link. The rest of the team is perfect. Now, a BPL manager or a Belgian BPL manager specifically would be ideal. We do get a Premier League manager and it does indeed put us up to 100 chemistry. And it boosts the players. And he's English as well, actually, so he helps Joe Hart. He boosts all the perfect players. So... Can't be mad at that. We'll throw him in. It's a 185 team. Uh, as I said, guys, this, this may well be like a huge, huge error. You know, I'm, I may have screwed up here. I, I wanted to take a risk with this formation. I was looking to take a risk with certain players. I think the team is pretty good. Um, I, I'm excited to use Vardy. Never used him yet, the informed Vardy. So I'm uh, very excited to use him and see how he gets on. The attacking, the attack is, the attack in the midfield is solid. It's just the defense that could be a problem. However, if, you know, if I'm suffering, We've got Florenzi, we've got Bonucci to bring on, and then if I'm suffering an attack, we've got Martial, Messi, Lacazette to bring on, and if these two midfielders get tired during the game, we've got Hamshik to bring on. So that is the team, guys. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, so as we get into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 4 4 2, 96 chem, 86 rated team. A very, very good team by any account. And as we watch the gameplay today, instead of me talking about the gameplay, I actually want to talk about the rewards of the draft. A lot of people recently, I asked on a previous video for people to show me their kind of records and, and what rewards they've got and stuff. And in general, the rewards from draft are horrendous. So this is kind of like, if, if there's anyone from EA that manages to watch this video, we would love a, an idea or a response or just an update on any better potential rewards. You know, this year, obviously, you've introduced Foot Champions, which gives out incredible rewards. Um, you've removed something from Divisions by the way of the kit, so the Divisions rewards are kind of like meh. And the Draft rewards, although you've added in a couple, they're very, very rare. The one that they've added in is a 50k pack, 45k coins, and a 15k pack. And I've won the Draft 22 times, and I've only received that reward once. The reason why I, I, I mentioned that specifically is because I asked people to start sending me their records. Somebody on Twitter had won the draft 180 odd times in 210 odd get, uh, t attempts. So obviously a fantastic player and just lives in the draft. And he said he had not got the coin reward even once. Not once. Um, so I don't know. I feel like we need better rewards. Um, we, need, we need like 
I don't know. I feel like for losing in the final, sorry, for winning in the final, you know, you're winning four straight games. You can get as little as 55k return, which is a 50k pack and a 5k pack, which isn't great. Um, one of the other really bad ones is the two 25k packs and the two 5k packs, which is 60k's worth, which isn't great. But you can also get up to 135k's worth of packs, which is the 100k pack and the mega pack, which is a reward. Um, which is obviously fantastic. I would love that because you get consumables, you get players. But the, I, I don't like the fact that not only do you not know what you're going to get, so it's an absolute crapshoot, you you are more than likely going to get something that is utter, utter garbage. Like, they need to rework the draft to the point where winning it actually gives you something, like, in return. Because we've, we've made most of our coins off of not winning the draft. You know, we packed that Emmanuel Petit in the semi-final. We packed a lot of our better cards from losing in the early rounds. Whereas we win the final a lot and we barely make profit, you know. Like I actually went out in the second round one time and packed Nain Golan, who sold for like 60k. It was crazy. Um, but I won the draft in the last episode. And what did we get out of that? We got a 50k pack and a 5k pack. And at best, I would have made back about eight to 10,000 coins. So for playing the draft and winning the draft, I would have lost 5,000 coins. I don't see how EA can like like not realize that that is a problem like I, I feel like they should restructure the draft rewards so that you get something back in return um for for winning the draft even if it's like you know you know how they give coins so 45k for winning it i've seen people get 25k for losing in the final as well why not give a coin bonus for every round you know you lose in the first round you get a 3k coin bonus you lose in the second round you get 5k you lose in the semi semi final you get 7k you lose in the final you get 10k and you win the final you just get 15k you get your coins back for another draft entry or to use in the game it's not a draft token but it's essentially the same as a draft token i think something like that would just really help like benefit people that play the draft as i say like right now we're in a situation where um you could you could genuinely win the draft 10 times in a row 150,000 coins put in, 10, 10 times in a row you could win the draft and you could come out losing 50 or 60,000 coins. I find that to just be genuinely not fair. Uh, I, just, I just think it's crazy. So if you guys are still watching, still listening and you want to change in the draft rewards, drop a thumbs up on this video. We'll see if we can raise a, a fair bit of awareness and then maybe uh, get this to EA's, uh, EA's some representative somewhere, somehow. To see if we can do it. Now I end up losing that game in extra time. It like ha ha harsh but fair. Uh, basically, you know the game was quite even, but I got a red card from an auto lunge from the AI uh, controlling Gail Clichy. I didn't make that tackle. I, as I'll talk about it a little bit in a in a second in the pack screen. But some will believe me. Some some will have been through the same sort of thing. I didn't make that tackle. We got he got sent off for it. I didn't think it was a red card either. We had Kulubali covering. Had defenders coming back. But hey, that's FIFA for you. Am I right? This is going to be the end of the gameplay, guys. Well, let's get into the packs. So guys, we end up going out in the second round today. Um, I took a risk with this formation and ultimately with this team and I got I got caught, basically. My biggest problem was, and I showed the replays just uh, after the game there, my biggest problem was I got a red card for Gail Clichy. I don't know if it should have been a red anyway. I had Koulibaly that was covering and another defender that was there. But that was an AI auto lunge. I was I didn't like I didn't press the button. I know it's easy to say I didn't press the button, and some people will sympathise because they've been through the same thing. And people that have never really experienced that will just say that I'm trying to make excuses. But that is the truth. Like the game up to that point was quite interesting, and when it went to extra time, because I'd already made my subs quite early. I think I made two subs at half time, and then I subbed off one of my wingers for a centre back um, when my opponent. Uh, well, sorry, when I got Gal Clichy sent off. After it went to extra time, I just knew it was game over. I like my legs on my players were dead. I was a man down, and um, that was basically that was that, that was the difference right there. Just the one goal difference with the ten men. But uh, credit to my opponent. You know, he did what he had to do. He took his chances, and uh, my my experiment here with the three four two one definitely failed. We get a jumbo goal pack and two goal packs. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. I really don't. I don't know. We'll see what we get out of it. Boom. Not a rare player in the first pack. A Hunter Kempstar will be good though. We get a Russian League player who uh, may well be worth a little something something. Um, nothing in there. Ooh, hello kit. Come on, be one of those expensive kits. No, may, may, maybe like maybe 600 coins. Maybe 600 coins. I'll list it up 700 and see if it sells. It's such a sick kit though. Maybe I should have put that kit on. 
we get ourselves another gold pack. I always see people get like legends and stuff out of gold packs like EA. I want like a legend or something out of a gold pack. That would be sick. We get Rod Aiga there as our second player. Again, just nothing doing here. <laughs> oh my god. There's about three, two, two to 3,000 coins at most in that pack. And then a jumbo gold pack. Come on, give me a rare player at least. Not even a rare player in all three packs. So, that is what we get, guys, for taking a risk on a formation. Do we get anything good here? I mean, maybe they'll be uh, worth something eventually. Squad fitness card is not bad. Oh, we get a free pack. There we go. We're guaranteed a rare player. Now, watch us watch us get a silver player um, in, in this. So, we get a free pack, guys. Now this pack is not like the um, not like the upgrade packs. So first of all, it is tradable, and second of all, you only get one rare um, and minimum of one gold. You can get two golds, but only one of them's rare. So there is a possibility that you will get a rare silver card. Let's see what we get. Come on, give me a rare gold. It is a rare gold. It is going to be Gonalon. That's not too bad. I mean, it's better than anything we got in those 5k packs. Who's the silver card that we got? Oh, we got two golds. There you go. So we got a free pack, guys. There we go. Um, I'll send those to the club for now. We'll deal with those at a later date. That, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.